Manipulating photos to put people in compromising situations has been a problem long before social media. But now artificial intelligence is making it even easier. Those photos even have a designated name. They're called deepfakes. Yeah, and just about anyone can create one of these for just a few dollars almost instantly. Tonight, WUSA 9 investigative reporter Nathan Baca shows us new technologies designed to protect your identity. Video game streamer Sweet Anita has around 3 million followers on YouTube and Twitch. But late January, images of her face superimposed onto another woman's body in a pornographic picture were widely distributed around the internet. I was just suddenly confronted with loads of images of me doing things I'd never done. And they were so realistic. And I was just uh, heartbreaking. How do they make you feel? Honestly, numb and exhausted because I feel like this is something that quite a lot of um, just women in general have to go through. AI programs with the help of a few typed in prompts can now create deep fake images quickly and cheaply. Alexandra Madry at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology grabbed some of my social media pictures. Nathan, like we found some of your Instagram photos. So for instance, over here we have your photo. It's you, know, it's you in the capital. But now, if we wanted to put you in Roman Empire, for instance. Yeah, I'm a Roman centurion now. Or look, I've never been to Italy. Type in a few words, no special training needed, and the AI does the work. You can create realities that do not exist. I once took a picture with Alex Trebek. Now he's an old war buddy of mine. But what if somebody wanted to make others believe I've been a jail inmate? You can just take your image from uh, Instagram, do, uh, put it in some like very you know, compromising pose and says, we'll post it online if you don't pay us money. Madri helped develop a program called PhotoGuard. It denies the AI the ability to manipulate your pictures convincingly, a technology Madri hopes social media companies will soon adapt. Think of this as adding a protective layer on it that is invisible to you. The results of images on the internet, even fake ones, can, can last forever. Virginia State Senator Adam Eben wrote a 2019 law and made creating and distributing deep fake pornography images illegal. We don't have a federal law prohibiting it. Only Virginia and California have deep fake laws and neither prohibit creating harmful images of a non-pornographic nature due to free speech concerns. We have to monitor and see if it becomes a problem for speech in other areas outside of uh, simulating adult conduct. Video game streamer Sweet Anita says while AI makes deep fakes easier to create, AI itself shouldn't be feared as a tool for progress. With AI, it's a reflection of its user. Always. So if the user wants to do something dark, it can be put to dark uses. What advice would you have for women and men who also are victims of deep fake porn? Other people have tried to make me feel this is shame, but that the shame isn't yours. You haven't done anything wrong. Nathan Baca, W, USA 9. Now, Nathan mentioned a law that makes distributing nude images without a person's consent illegal, and this includes those deep fake images. The crime is considered a class one misdemeanor. It is punishable by up to a year in prison or $2,500 in fines if convicted. All right, a lot of you were talking about this 